Hey guys, here's your final instalment of your four chord songs, starting from uh, your G chord. Now we've tweaked the formula here slightly so that we're going to be doing the same order of chords, but starting from an E minor. So your chord sequence becomes, it, it was to start off with, G, D, E minor and C. To change this slightly so that we can do a whole new batch of songs with this same order of chords, if we start from your E minor, we then go to C, G and D. It sounds very different, but it's the same order of the chords in the round that we're doing in when, when we repeat them. And this is the easiest position to play these four chord songs in. And I'm showing you a whole bunch of songs that you can play along to the record um, in the correct key of the song. Um, and your first song with um, these chords is going to be Zombie by the Cranberries. Kind of a, a big 90s song, um, one from my youth, I remember my older brother playing an awful lot. And uh, it kind of sounds like this. Okay really slow tempo to this one so we've got an opportunity to do an awful lot of strumming here just let me do a count along to that one two three four one two three four G two three four D two three four um, so that's your count along to it and your song's kind of in your head in your head zombie zombie if you just join into me either on the beat with these chords or with your eight strumming one and two and three and four or you can even add ups to your eight strumming to kind of make it 16 strumming but at the moment if you're kind of new to these um, chords I wouldn't recommend that we go for too much of the kind of down and up stuff but you can do down up down up and adding up strokes in between those and even miss some of the down strokes out just as some ideas of what to do when your tempo is this slow and you're like I want to add more but what do I do um, but just playing on to me to start off with so that when we add more strumming it sounds really natural from your E minor in one two three E minor, then to C, and a G, and a D. Okay, here we go. In your head, in your head, something, something, something. Okay, one more time. In your head, in your head, something, something. Hold it there, and perfect, so that's your first example, uh, all the full songs, uh, the chord sheets to all the full songs will be available in the description below on my website, andyguitar.co.uk, um, but what I'd like you to do is just, just kind of get a gist of these songs and then choose which ones you want to look more in depth into and look at your full chord sequence. Um, so the next one, uh, You and Your Hand by uh, Pink really famous kind of four chord song with this idea of starting from E minor no capo needed again so you can do this along to the record with these simple chords as an example I'm not here for your Okay, so let's have a go at doing um, this one from the top. Downs and ups, one and two and three and four is your preferred strumming pattern. Or just on the beats, two, three, four, if you're still getting used to the chord changes and playing in time and things. From your E minor, same order of chords. In one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, G, and a D. Keep it going, E minor. Cause I'm not here for your entertainment You don't really wanna mess with me tonight Just stop and take a second I just wanna see what to do my life Okay, 
the chord sequence changes very slightly at the, towards the end of the chorus, but even the kind of riff idea Gee, I forgot what the first chord was there. whole song with open chords, you don't have to do it with power chords. So that's the way that I'm going to write it in um, the chord sequence that you can get um, below for totally for free. Uh, your next song is Kids by MGMT. Capo on second fret for this one if you would like to play it along to the record which is something that I really um, advise. Uh, so Capo on your second fret, E minor on your first chord and play exactly the same as your pink song you in your hand. From E minor in one, two, three, four. So Um, whole song is the exact same chord sequence. You may want to hold back on your strumming for a, a couple of sections from A child is born. Right now for attention, for example, just at certain points in the song where the drums kind of stop, just maybe do one strum per chord. Uh, but other than that, that's the whole song, one chord sequence. Please play along to the record with that one, with the use of a capo. It's really helpful, especially spanning all these different genres that we're covering in, um, in this series of four chord song videos. It's way too useful not to do. Uh, and finally, we have the Lady Gaga classic Poker Face, which is um, capo fourth fret, and um, kind of played in the same way. Um, a little bit slower, just a touch slower, but kind of played in the same way. Two, three, four, one, two. It is a little bit more of tempo, so probably downs and ups on that one. One and two and three and four as your as your higher level strumming pattern. Downs and ups. One and two and three from your E minor in two, three, four. Carry my to a C. Stay on E minor. Four chords for your chorus in one, two, three, four. Carry my, carry my, no need to carry my face. She's got that on E minor. Carry my, carry my, no need to carry my face. And on E minor, one, two. Beautiful. Okie dokie, so that's the end of this uh, four chord song series, um, the in the key of G. Although a lot of these, um, in the last two videos, we've been starting on an E minor, because of the chords in the song and the, the, the fact that they'd come in that order, for you, I would think about them all still being in the key of G, even though a lot of the time the first chord of a song is the key of a song. Um, for example, a lot of these start on G, so we kind of think of them in the key of G. But E minor is the relative, uh, what we call the relative major uh, to relative minor chords or minor key to your G major. So think about them as the same thing and when you see this order of chords playing in the, think about it being in the key of G is far more simpler. It puts everything in the same box, it's way more usable from a practical point of view. Fantastic, okay, so check out the description for the links uh, to the chord sequences for the full song for all these songs.
Um, they're all on my website andyguitar.co.uk where you will also find a free beginners course, um, video lessons for every song and the full chords available for you all in order taking you from absolute beginner to um, the end of my beginners course and I'm going to just be uploading more and more videos as we go along because you guys are, are really enjoying it and I want to um, be able to help everyone to play guitar, that's my goal. Okie dokie, take care and I will see you soon.